frequently in my practice I have patients coming in and, and they've been feeling well all their life and then all of a sudden they start to develop symptoms like they get swollen joints or their stomach start hurting them or it can be anything that all of a sudden just appear and they haven't changed anything in their life and they wonder why all of a sudden does all of these symptoms just come about right now. And uh, the interesting thing is that the body has an ability to adapt for a long, long period of time. And then when they come in and I test them, you know, I do my little evaluation that I do, and I find out, well, you're gluten sensitive, and so you need to remove gluten out of your diet. And they say, well, I've been eating gluten all my life, and it's never bothered me until now. And then I tell them, well, you know, there's also chemicals, there's metals that's showing up in the system and all these things, they add up. So what I liken it all to is what I call the, the bucket effect. You have a bucket, and this is amount of toxins that the body can handle. So for instance, you are gluten sensitive, so it's filling the bucket about to this level. So the gluten that you're eating, it's creating this amount of stress. Then you're exposed to certain chemicals, and as we get older, yeah, obviously we have a longer period of time that we're exposed to chemicals. So these chemicals, they, they go up to that level. Uh, then we're dealing with all the EMF, all these frequencies that we have around us that we bombarded with that we didn't used to have. And that is impacting our whole hormonal system. So that is filling up our bucket to about here. Then we're eating poorly. So we Obviously, we need nutrition in order to be able to function properly. So every day, every moment, every, you know, our cells are needing nutrition in order to be able to function, to produce energy, and then to repair themselves. So then the nutritional deficiencies creating a, a certain amount of stress. And then we have all the different stress factors that we, you know, our daily life stress factors that continually we're bombarded with. You know, we're late for work, we're sitting in traffic, uh, the kids are screaming, we don't have enough penny, money to pay our bills, uh, all these different things that take place. And that creates this amount of stress. And then all of a sudden, we get a, uh, an, an infection. We, we are exposed to a virus or a bacteria uh, that, that's putting extra amount of stress. And it's, it's in our system for a while, and it's creating more and more stress. So then that infection, all of a sudden, makes this then to start to flow over. So, and then we start to become symptomatic. So now this bucket is filled and we start to become symptomatic. So all of these different factors, they come together and yes, maybe we are not, uh, maybe we're gluten sensitive and we didn't see the symptoms before, but now it is showing up because it's filled the bucket. So we need to address all these different issues. So. And regarding to emotions, it is now known that thoughts and emotions, they actually changes DNA and is stored in the body. So when we're experiencing all these stress factors, we feel these emotions. And we feel strong emotions, and we don't let ourselves to fully express them to where we're free from them. The chemistry that is floating around in our blood actually gets repressed and gets pushed down to where these neuropeptides are landing in cell receptors and are blocking the cells from being able to communicate. And when that happens repeatedly, things like masses and illnesses then can form. So after feeling the emotion, there's a release of chemicals to communicate that feeling to the cells. And when we decide we're not going to feel that emotion, you actually have neuropeptides. So if you have a, a receptor site, this is a cell right here. So you have actually neuropeptide that then block these receptor sites so that we cannot communicate that, uh, that emotion. And then trapping the emotion inside the body uh, because that reaction is then never allowed to be completely, you know, to be completed. So it is completed by the chemicals communicating the emotions by landing in this cell receptor. Uh, but since we decide then to block the receptor, the chemicals are still floating around and we are getting sick from it.